Hi there. Now, if you'd like to have a go at this coordinate geometry question where we've got to find the equation of a line and you haven't uh, had a go at this, then I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you can check your working against mine as I take you slowly through the work solution and methods involved. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. Now, to get the equation of a line, I'm going to be using the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. should be familiar with that form. And we know that this line reduces down to y equals mx because x1, y1 is a point on the line and it goes through the origin. So if I take x1, y1 equal to 0 and 0 respectively, then you're just going to be left with y equals mx. So therefore, we've got y equals mx is the equation of L2 since x1 equals 0, y1 equals 0. Now that we've got basically the form of the equation of the line L2, what we're short on is the gradient m. And to get the gradient m, I'm going to look at the gradient of the line L1. We're told that L1 is perpendicular to L2. So if it's perpendicular, we can use the perpendicular gradient rule to work out what M is. So that's where we go with this now. We look at the line L1, and we know its equation is 2x plus 3y equals 26. And if we rearrange this into the form y equals mx plus c, m will be the gradient of L1. So let's subtract the 2x from both sides, first of all. And that will give us 3y equals minus 2x plus the 26. Now if we divide both sides by 3, we end up with y equals minus 2 thirds x plus 26 thirds. And so this has got the form y equals mx plus c. And we can see that the gradient then of L1 is minus 2 thirds. So we'll just write that in here, first of all, that therefore the gradient of L1 equals minus 2 thirds. Good check, by the way, is it's negative, And you can see that it's a negative slope. So therefore, by the perpendicular gradient rule, the gradient of the line L2, well, that's going to be equal to the negative reciprocal of this. In other words, you just invert the fraction and change the sign. So you get 3 over 2. If you're unsure of that perpendicular gradient rule, do check out the videos on my website for this. OK, so we've got that. That then is m for the gradient of L2. So we're in a position to say that therefore the equation of the line L2 is and it's going to be y equals 3 over 2x. Okay, and there you go. That's it.